Hello? God is good? All the time. And all the time? God is good. Amen. Hi, my name is Kalicha. Uh, not Phil. And I'm just going to give you a little testimony of how I used to be before I found Christ, how I found Christ, and what He has done in my life. Now, 17 years ago, a boy named Kalicha was born, and, uh, and yeah, I lived a pretty average life. You know, I grew up in a Tongan family, so obviously I went to church every Sunday. Um, but then uh, when I was like um, seven or so, my, um, my mom and my dad, they divorced. And to me, I, um, you know, I didn't really think of anything like that. Uh, like, I didn't really think anything of it. Um, until I heard college. I went to college and um, things started to change. Um, you know, I saw teenagers doing what teenagers do nowadays. You know, the world tells us that it's normal for teenagers to go out drinking. It's normal for teenagers to go and smoke. It's normal for teenagers to take drugs and, and party and, and do stuff like that. And that's what I was introduced to. I saw, um, I saw my friends and that doing things that, you know, they thought was cool. But to me, I was a, I was a church boy and I, I didn't really like it. You know, I didn't really participate in what they were doing. But there was one thing that caught my eye and that was relationships. And you know, um, that was one thing that really that I started to, to lust for. I started to desire relationships. And so what I did during those college years, I started seeking relationships with girls. And, and I thought that, you know, that's where I would find happiness. Because the thing was, I was living my whole, um, even though I went to church every Sunday, even though I had a, you know, a family, but they were like, yeah, it wasn't that great, you know. <laughs> I mean, I, I thought, you know, I, I wasn't happy with what I was doing with my life and I thought relationships would fix that. And the thing was, it was because my mom and dad, they divorced. I had a void in my heart and I thought that relationships were filled. I thought that my broken family had no effect on me, but it did. And there are a lot of you guys in this place that are from broken families. And we may think we're all right, but the truth is, it has an effect on us. It has an effect on all of us. We see teenagers these days seeking happiness and seeking love in, in the wrong places and that's what I was doing. And let me tell you, I had, I had no hope in life. If you asked me two years ago what I was going to do in the future, I would tell you that I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. I didn't know what I was going to do after I died. And so a friend came up to me one day at school and started talking to me about church. And I was like, um, Buddy, I know what, what church is like, okay? And he kept telling me like, oh, yeah, yeah. We started asking me questions and I kept answering it back. But then he asked me one question that stumped me. And he asked me, if you were to die tonight, where would you go? Heaven or hell? And I had no idea. Even though I went to church every single Sunday, I had no idea. I didn't even think about eternity. Didn't even think about what was going to happen after I died. And yet I was, a good person. Oh, I was a good person because I didn't drink or I didn't smoke or I didn't do drugs. But I, I, I knew deep down inside that, that I wasn't going to go to heaven. I mean, I lied, I swore, I, I did everything else that the world thinks is normal. I did everything else that everybody did. And I thought, you know, to myself, what, what, what do I do about it? And then my friend invited me to, to a concert like this. I came out and on December 6th I gave my life to Christ. And I have to tell you, I had no idea what I did. I came down, I prayed a very simple prayer. But since that day, my life has been different. Since that day, I have found a hope. Since that day, my, my broken family, I believe that they will not be broken for any longer because Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ says that you, you will be saved and so shall your household. And I'm believing that my household shall be saved. See, the truth is, the truth is, the normal tells the, the world tells us that these broken families and these broken lifestyles are normal. But let me tell you that that is not normal in God's eyes. See, everybody drinking, everybody smoking, everybody doing drugs and partying and stuff like that. People are just looking 
for hope. People are just looking for love. And on December 6th, I found that love. And it has changed my life. It has changed my heart. Let me tell you, if you are in this place and you have a broken family, or if you are in this place and you're looking for that hope, you're looking for that love, let me tell you it's in Jesus Christ. And nothing else. You will not find the hope in the book. Or you will not find the hope in the book. Let me tell you. That you will only find it in Jesus Christ. He is the greatest thing that has ever happened in my life. And he will be the greatest thing that happens in yours. Amen. Amen.